Welcome back. So this is um, my favorite crank set visually. I love the star pad and the strong light. Problem is the left crank arm on these round off and I've done the best I can. I've even put cans in there. Yep, I don't care. And it just eventually just keeps coming off. And if you can see, I mean, it is rounded, very rounded. So I do have an, actually have another strong light crank set, which I've set up for a single speed, which is here. But I'm not gonna put this one on this bike. This is meant for another bike in due time. And you know, I had a good run with the strong light on this one. Obviously, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw this away or anything. I'm just gonna wait until I can get a single crank arm, which is almost impossible to get just this one because they round off on this side so much. So I'm going to wait until uh, I find one eventually. No rush. I did find a replacement for this though. Something that uh, I don't I, not necessarily like it as much, but it's definitely it's up there. I think it's pretty sweet. So we're gonna replace this one with this one. The old school Dura Ace, I believe 70, uh, 7710 set, I believe it's that's 7710. Uh, anyways, but yeah, this is pretty sweet. Um, so this is like, the, I believe this is like one of the first, if not the first Dura A sets, maybe the second ever made. And found it online, got a good deal, and I was like, all right, finally I can find something to replace the strong light with. So all I gotta do now is just, um, this has two chain rings on. This is a single chain ring bolt. So I just gotta take these off and put them back on here. Um, take this chain ring off, the inner one. Uh, this is a 52. I'm running a 5219. So this was a 53. And it's going to be 5319, which is actually probably even better. So, ain't nothing to it to get, ain't nothing to it except to get to it. So, let's do it. All right, let's see how long. I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave this on, uh, you know, uh, until I just finish it, see how long it takes. So, I'll give you guys an idea. Sometimes you run into issues, sometimes you don't. Let's see what happens. also have some more upcoming things about bikes. I literally just moved, so it's been a while. Um, this is actually my second move, or third move in six months. So it's been a minute. We're making videos and stuff. It's been busy to say the least, but now I'm in an area that's much more flat and much more conducive to bike riding, so. Here I am. So these are just spinning because the other side is spinning. And just put your finger on it. Usually it works. Thank goodness this is in good this is in good condition. A lot of times these will be kind of like rusted out. You need to get a um, a little screwdriver on this. You can see like this, like a flat head on a scrap, uh, flat part to stop it from spinning. You can't just do it by hand, but this is in great condition. Strong light. Always be careful when you do this. I don't know for me. I feel like I always lose skin when I do this because of this. Every time I turn like this, bam, knuckles always catch this. So I've learned to like 
hold it tight with this hand, put your finger here, and then push on it from the outside the best you can. But sometimes like this one, it's not where they want it to cooperate. So we'll come back and you gotta put a little more pressure. They also can just get um, an extension for your Allen wrench, but I have no pipe wrench, pipe to put that on, so it is what it is. A little blood never hurt nobody, it's part of working. But definitely, you wanna hold this down and be very careful. Or another solution is have something like this, bubble wrap, just put it around this for temporarily until we're done. Good idea too to keep them paired with the ones that they come up with. I guess a lot of people say I personally never had a problem with switching them up, but whatever. Just actually makes it neater for you to work. Is my main thing. Or not. Miss this for a little while though. It's so sexy. Put this fifty three back on with the single ring chain bolts. Now, if you can see the difference, I'll show you. If you ever take, if you guys ever take, um, a two chain ring for like a multi gear bike and you want it to make it to a single speed you're always going to need the single speed uh chain ring bolt so you can see they're shorter because there's only one chain ring so if there's two chain rings this needs to be longer in order to go through both and if you try to put the single chain ring on this it'll um just slide back and forth so it just won't work you'll see Hopefully you won't see until you take my advice and just skip that part, but <laughs> it is what it is. Some people don't, so let get one started. side just because makes it move less it's easy to deal with Um, by the way, you always make sure this side, without the Allen, you'll see it goes on the back side. And the one with the hex key, or Allen, whatever you want to call it, um, goes in front.
Okay, so the titanium, the same thing. So you're probably gonna need to press the back just to put a little pressure on it to get it to start to tighten. And like sometimes like this, it just still doesn't, oh, no, it's good, okay. And also I'll recommend a star pattern. So I'm gonna tighten here or here, go opposites, just like a car. One, two, three, four, five, like that. So if you start here, whatever one you tighten down, then tighten this one, then cross, across, across. Start here, across, 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 across. It just makes sure you're gonna tighten it in a circle pattern, kind of, and you don't wanna warp this. This can bend, and if you look at your chain ring, if you spin your chain ring really fast, you'll see sometimes it wobbles. That This helps prevent that, and it's just a good thing to get in habit to. So, let's see which one I tighten now. This one's the one I tighten down first. And I'm not tightening it tight. I'm just getting it snug first. And then I'm going to come back and tighten them just again like a car. So it's a little snug. And come opposite side. A little snug. Opposite. Bam. And bam. So now I'm going to come back to the opposite of that side of that one. And give it... Hold the arm. I like to hold like this. I would highly recommend you don't hold it like this. And you hold like this and put your thumb here. So you have control. And like put your knuckles against this. Otherwise, if you slide, you're not gonna have a fun day. Your knuckles are gonna be ripped. So, bam, put a little pressure. Bam, you don't need to go crazy. That's actually one of my problems. Uh, a lot of times I make these, I, I crank things down too hard. And it's too unnecessary wear on the parts and it makes it easy to get stuck together. <clears throat> and it's just, you don't need to stress. And then you just want to make sure. Boom. You got them all. Bam. All right, so we're good to go on that. Now on the strong light, these pedals are the French threading. So I can't use these pedals on this crank. These are 9 16 unless I retap these. Fortunately, uh, or unfortunately, <laughs> my other bike is down right now. I'm gonna make some changes on that one. I'll have a video come up now. Well, I think it's gonna be sick. And so I'm going to take the pedals for this from that one in the meantime, which are 9 16 a little heavier. These are very cheaper, lighter ones, <laughs> but I like the lighter ones. They don't bother me. These are more sturdy for sure. I'm probably going to feel better under my foot as I pedal. So this is the left crank arm. Oh, sorry. I cannot use this one. I just said that. We just got to put this one on. So usually there's an L or something. To let you know left or right this one doesn't have it i don't know if you can see it says like an m i don't know if this is a different language or something uh, i actually don't know what that means no idea maybe just a product but anyways you'll find out so the uh, right side crank arm side you turn this right and do not push it. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go. Luckily, this I got it on the first try. You have a 50% chance. <laughs> so it turns right to tighten it. Now the other one, you're going to turn it left. And yes, you know, could have put a little dab of grease on it, but I keep all my bikes inside. And it'll be fine. And I'm probably going to switch them back not too long, so it's no big deal as of now. Spanner wrench. Must have. Again, anytime you hold this, you want to hold it. I usually like, like to put my thumb against the arm, so and that's it. One down.
And see, this one's going to turn left to tighten because it's the left side. If you go to the right, as you pedal, you will literally remove the pedal, which would not be good. So, lefty tighty. Bam. There we go. All right. That's it. Here's the swap. So, just going to put on my bike and uh, make a little video show you guys how it looks after compared to the strong leg crank. Bye, baby. Happy biking out there. Be safe. But have the most fun ever. You know what's up. Biking is the best thing ever, bro. I try to turn everyone into biking. This is what I love. This is my love. It's healthy. It's fun. And it's, it's just the best. Humans need to bike more and take cars and trains. I hope all y'all give it a try. And one thing I, I must say, though, about bikes, just like a car, you got to get your own bike. <laughs> Once you start personalizing it, it's just different. You Riding an e-bike or whatever from someone else all jammed up and janky, never going to give you the feel. So always get your own bike. And when you start riding it, you start learning what you know you like, you don't like, start changing parts. And that's when the love affair happens. And you're like, it doesn't matter what it looks like to anybody else. It's all about the love you have for the bike. And that's what it's about. So... I'm going to throw this on my bike, and I'm going to get cruising. Enjoy your day. Be safe, and I'll get back to you with the results.